I've been uh, fortunate uh, to have been an organizer for a number of Keystone meetings. It's really a privilege, an honor. And in fact, I'll be doing one in the near future, uh, one in 2013, on metabolic control of inflammation. Um, I'm quite excited about it. It's always exciting to organize a Keystone because um, you have a hand in, in shaping the program. You have a hand in uh, bringing in exciting speakers. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, it's quite exciting because uh, inflammation and metabolism, which are two sort of sides of uh, the coin of disease, of human disease, uh, have finally met at a mechanistic level. So we knew for a long time that altered metabolism could lead to inflammation and the other way around as well. So altered inflammation could lead to disorders in metabolism. But mechanistic insight into that relationship was lacking till of late. And this meeting will highlight advances that have been made on that front and I suspect that these advances will lead to new uh, therapeutic modalities. This particular uh, meeting that I'm organizing in 2013 on metabolic control of inflammation will be attractive to a lot of uh, investigators. It will be a cross-disciplinary meeting uh, ranging from immunologists to endocrinologists to biochemists who are interested in cellular signaling. So it's uh, really going to be uh, There'll be something for everyone uh, at this meeting. Everybody who's interested in human disease and pathology will benefit from attending this meeting. Keystone Symposia have uh, had an enormous impact on the life sciences, uh, not only in North America, but uh, worldwide. These are meetings where the best scientists are invited. Uh, these are meetings where there is a lot of free time, so you can mingle with speakers, with participants, uh, develop collaborations. Uh, these are meetings that uh, are relatively small. So in contrast to many association uh, meetings, which can be quite large, the largest keystone meeting will be in a few hundreds. And so when it's often spread over four days, sometimes even five days, with a lot of free time, uh, with the best speakers, it's just an exceptional environment to learn. The Keystone uh, meetings have always been special. I've attended Keystone meetings since I started in research 30 years ago. I've been to a one or more than one meeting every year because that's really where I do a lot of my learning. It's also a place where I've developed many collaborations. It's really that free time that one has at a Keystone meeting uh, where one can mingle with the speakers, uh, meet potential collaborators. That's very special. So the size of the meeting, the venue, so that uh, you actually have a captive audience uh, at a Keystone. People are not wandering off after their talk, uh, generally. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's very special, and uh, nobody does it better than Keystone. They capture that sort of essence of uh, scientific communication, what it means to be a scientist. Uh, and so I've benefited em enormously over the years, and I hope to come to many more Keystone meetings.